School.mp3 or the tiniest of schools. As humanity rises, the little audio school will explain everything important about who we are and our aims. It will do so in every language and for free. As we face old mistakes and new challenges, we need a better, more reliable, and a more beautiful introduction to knowledge. And we have it really easy. This tiny school project is very simple. No more difficult than a small audiobook. Translation is about as hard as it will ever get, and people will love translating it, updating it, refining it. I guess the smallest physical shape is a tiny pendant with a memory card. I think the pendant should be red in the shape of a heart. Perhaps the most surprising version is a small range radio broadcast device where people in a remote area can just connect with a standard AM FM radio. And then there will be some preface, warning against cults, propaganda, and corruption. And it will receive protection, so that corrupt organizations will not profit from it. Today, the world is too uneducated, too terrified of poverty to come together. And it is the world, not its politicians, that must make the necessary repairs. The format is that of the list of common misconceptions on World Encyclopedia. The subject divisions should allow for an easy on-ramp, so it's more about poetry than strict division. The true inspiration for this audio school are the facts as shared by science popularizers. For example, that gold can only be forged by an exploding supernova. This our jewelry comes from the cores of giant dying stars. Or that the mitochondrion has a bacterial genome and divides the way bacteria does. The school will discuss more than history. It will explain it. It will deliver punches one after another. It will cover all the tragedies and how humanity learned and rose so that others can learn and rise. It will ensure that no lesson is ever lost. And it will aim to prevent mistakes from ever being repeated. One fact after another, non-stop, it will be read by many voices of young people, voices that the entire planet can trust. Some will be angry and defiant when explaining our darkest hours and mistakes. Others, reading science, will be cheerful and proud. It must be a free and open audiobook because it belongs to humanity. It belongs to every human being, no exceptions. The foreword will beg all to be safe, but sometimes it will be read or translated in great secrecy. Other times delivered to strange places where it will set people's minds free. It will help them inherit the culture that is worthy of us all. Over and over, in stories of triumph or mistakes or misery, it will remind that each human being is special, that we are each dignified, noble, and equally royal, and that no one human can stand above another. We are born equal, but our minds demand that we equally rise to no end in wisdom, in knowledge, and in greatness. This school or free audiobook will teach 
that poverty is a great mistake, that no human being should live in poverty, that what defines a nation is that all the people are taken care of. It will talk about helping people, especially those who get fractured, misled or tricked, and how they need psychological and sometimes even medical help and not revenge or more punishment. It will teach how to understand the world correctly and where to really start to get a better picture. It will speak of the museums, the libraries, the opera houses, the philosophers, the science popularizers, and travel writers and storytellers. It will push the younger generations away from nationalism, propaganda, xenophobia, cults, liars, and war towards knowledge, towards wisdom, and towards the understanding that we are each meant to become a great being. And it will be updated and made better by those who grew up with it as humanity rises.